Presidente. Mr. President, Mr. Commissioner, drought is no longer a phenomenon that occurs in southern Europe in the summer. Today, 6th of February, half of Spain is suffering from drought, and the summer is yet to come. Even more humid parts of Europe, like Belgium, have suffered from considerable drought. So we can't talk about episodes of drought, but a real water crisis which is Europe-wide. The shortage of this is leading to millions and millions of euros of loss in various sectors, loss of jobs and restrictions on water consumption. In particularly badly affected places like the Mediterranean Basin in Spain, Murcia, there's now a state of alert ongoing as far as drought is concerned. To stop the water crisis getting even worse, it's vital that we continue to work to combat climate change. But also, we need to keep investing in adaptation, in water infrastructures and in water transfers. Millions of jobs depend on this and the actual survival of many regions in southern Europe. Water solidarity is a vital element of European solidarity, and the effects of climate change will make such a solidarity even more necessary in the next few decades. We need, therefore, to put water stress as one of the issues to be borne in mind when it comes to evoking European solidarity, and in particular as one of the criteria when European funding is being earmarked. The impact of drought on Europe's economy and Europe's people is too serious not to include it in our financial calculations and balances. We need to do that as soon as possible, otherwise a gap between uh, Europe with water and Europe without water will be created. It's a matter of simple justice.